Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to do a crash course on jellyfish. I already did my rough sketch, a hand sketch. I applied a little bit of splattered um, masking fluid, Robain, using a toothbrush. I just throw a little bit just to give that feeling of underwater. And I haven't um, had uh, chosen my colors yet, but I, I, I think everything is going to be really blue. And the focal point is going to be the body of the, the jellyfish, which um, is very surreal. If you look at, um, if you look at uh, pictures, uh, they are very strange. They look very strange. And we are going to get started with um, a tiny bit of rose. Uh, my paper is dry and I believe it will remain dry. And right now I'm just dumping color, a base color. Uh, my goal here is to try to accomplish that um, that weird glow. I don't know if you have seen an old movie called uh, The Abyss. It's a very old movie, but they have great colors for their creatures. And that's what I'm trying to recreate that. And I'm leaving some spaces dry. I want to build a glow around it. And I'm going to use some of my lavender. Adding very tiny bits of blue. And the, the blues I'm using uh, is on the description. And a lot of the effect that you're going to see at the end of the painting, it will be caused by the background. The background, the blue in the background is going to be quite dark. So you're going to have an um, illusion that this is glowing. Oops. Don't let... Uh, don't let the paint. By the way, this is also Arche, a French paper that's 100% cotton, but this is a version a little lighter than the paper. I like to paint um, in 300 pound paper, and this is uh, the lighter version that is 140. It's just my personal preference. And now I have to work on, a little bit on 
I'm gonna start constructing the glow. Uh, this is the first wash, so I'm not too worried about it. If you have been watching my videos, um, you may have noticed that uh, I have a basic idea in mind and I keep painting. Eventually I get to where I want. Dumping some colors, dumping some colors. Trying to mix uh, off camera some orange and cobalt teal. Why? Because I, I want to start constructing. Uh, I'm just gonna look like a little bag. All right. And I have some of this, um, I don't know how to call them, tentacles. And I want to do one maybe uh, mask it, but I'm not, um, oh, not now. Never forget, um, it's gonna dry lighter. I'm changing um, brushes and I'm gonna start working on the arms. I'm not sure if we call this arms or tentacles. And again, I'm using a limited palette. I'm using Azure Blue that is from White Nights. Uh, I love their blues. Hobain also have great blues. And this would be more or less equivalent to Hobain um, manganese blue. Yeah, I think it's the closest. There is always a lot of brands of paint and um, you just need to figure out which one you like. Now it, um, those uh, tentacles, they tend to open. So I'm just gonna. When you, on your first wash, you want to move fast. There is no need uh, to be slow. I'm adding some grays just to create some movement. Oop. 
oops, a little more water than I wanted. The reason I'm not uh, blotting is because I don't know yet uh, if I'm gonna lift or not anything from the paper. I mm, need to go a little bit faster here. And probably for watercolors, um, the faster you paint, um, the nicer it looks most of the time. Because looks more natural, spontaneous. As I mentioned before, some artists um, like to do several versions and it works for them. Uh, I have nothing against, um, but if I can make it in one sitting, I prefer. All my paintings who were awarded. I did uh, very fast in one sitting, in one day, and they turned out to be successful. If you have any curiosity about uh, my other works, uh, please visit my website. Maybe you, you like you would like something. And if you like to request a demo, I will be ready. I will be happy uh, to think about it. Maybe something that uh, will be fun to paint. I mess up the table a bit. And I continue uh, using the Azure Blue. And uh, the mix with um, cobalt teal and orange that gave me this uh, little color here. Okay, there is a little bleeding here. And I want them to be more or less unified. I definitely prefer to, to paint with uh, 300 pound paper. But I thought it would be fun to do something different for you. I eventually will use other papers. Um, I do occasionally paint in Fabriano, Lana Quarel, Saunder, Saunders. Um, I really like the European uh, papers. They may be a little more expensive, but it makes such a difference. You can get by with cheap paint but you can't, uh, you can't substitute a good paper for academic level. Oops, too dark. It's 
kind of nice uh, not to have a reference because it only is, it exists inside my head. And as I said, if I need uh, a picture or something, you can always Google and look at them. And after you look at a thousand pictures, you, you're totally capable of creating your own jellyfish or your own animal even. Do a bit of character development. For those who illustrate, uh, they, they have to do uh, something similar all the time because they are creating animals and machines and things that don't exist. But at the same time, they have to be believable. All right, that's the first wash. Let it dry and we're gonna go come back very soon.